Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm gonna be bringing you guys the top five dividend stocks that's near that 52 week low. Now, I know, I know, I know, I get a bit ahead of myself. What are dividend stocks? What is this 52 week low thing you're talking about? Well, take out your pen and paper. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you guys a teaching lesson in this video and also some good value stocks on how we can make some good passive income inside of the stock market. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. That's by far the easiest way to help out a small content creator like me. So first of all, what are dividend stocks? Dividends is when you invest inside a company and then they pay back their shareholders, me and you, guys like us that hold shares inside these companies, they pay us in dividends as a formal way of saying, hey, thank you for investing inside of our company. Here's a little check every month or here's a little check every quarter. Do with it what you want. But they kind of really want you to reinvest that dividends back into the company to help that company grow in the future. So um, basically all you have to do is buy shares of certain companies that pays out dividends. And then every single month or every single quarter without doing anything at all, you're receiving a check, you're receiving a deposit straight into your a brokerage account without doing anything at all. And that is called dividend investing because it's by far the easiest and most passive form of income there is. You just literally wake up um, with notifications on your phone of you getting deposits straight into your brokerage account. It's, <laughs> it's very, very easy. Now where dividends suffer is that when some dividend stocks, some dividend stocks, not all, when some dividend stocks have a higher dividend yield. Now when you have a low dividend yield, they're gonna pay out a little bit of money. We have a high dividend yield, they're gonna pay out a lot of money, right? So the thing is, some people chase these high dividend stocks because they wanna receive a bigger check every single month. But what some dividend stocks suffer from is that when they're paying back their investors so much money in the form of dividends, they don't have enough money left over. They don't have enough money left over to reinvest back into the company to help grow the growth of that company for their stocks for the, so those shares could be um be worth more in value over time some dividend stocks that have a high dividend yield kind of just trade sideways for the entire year five years ten years don't really grow so the key is is to look for a good quality dividend stock that pays a dividend somewhere between two and three percent four and five percent sometimes if they're real estate REIT. And then you could go in and buy some shares. These companies will pay you dividends every quarter or every month. And the growth of that company will continue to rise over time as long as it's a good quality stock. Now, one way to find very, very good growth in dividend stocks is to not buy dividend stocks at their all time high. You kind of want to dollar cost average in on, on dividend stocks or the golden rule of investing is to buy low and sell high, not buy high and sell low. So you don't want to buy a whole bunch of shares of dividend stocks at their all time high price. And then that's where we're going to come in where um, we're finding dividend stocks near that 52 week low. That means that over the last 52 weeks, these dividend stocks are, are near the lowest price they've been for the last 52 weeks. So let's say they opened up at $100 52 weeks ago. They shot all the way up to 150, 120, and then now they're pulling all the way back to 105. They're near their 52 week low. So now we could go in, we could buy some shares at 105, or let's say they even pull below their 52 week low to all the way down to $98. We could go in, as long as it's a good quality company, we could go in and buy some shares at $98 at $105 and expect that over the next couple of years that this company will reach back up to their all time high of around $150. That's just an easy example right there. But yeah, that's, um, that's what dividend investing is and that's what's um, looking for stocks that's near their 52 week low. So in this video, in this video right here, I'm gonna bring you guys my top five dividend stocks that's near their 52 week low right now. So we could go in and find some good value, get some dividends, and hopefully the growth of this company will go up over time. I'm gonna be using a stock screening tool in Moomoo. Moo. Guys, if you wanna sign up for Moomoo, Moo, I'm gonna leave that link down in the description. You sign up, it's a brokerage account. Deposit $100, you could get up to 15 free shares. They have a bunch of tools in there that you could use for free to help you become a better trader. That's what I use. And in there, they offer commission-free trading. And right now, for any cash that you have inside of their brokerage account, they have a 5.1% um, APY cash interest. So with cash that's just sitting inside your account on there, um, you could earn up to 5% APY interest on the cash that's sitting in there. 
And then with those free stocks, you can do with them what you want. You can sell your free stocks, you can keep your free stocks and decide to use the platform. But, but yeah, guys, this is by far the best um, promotion that they had by far in a very long time. So if you wanna use the same tools that I use to help me find these stocks, I'm gonna leave those down in the description. I'm gonna also leave a link to Webull down in the description. You sign up with Webull, deposit any amount of money, even one penny if you want to, and you can receive up to 12 free stocks. You can sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money or you guys is literally free money. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. Even if you already got Robinhood, even if you already got Webull, even if you already got Moomoo, if you don't have any of the other two, go ahead, sign up, get those free stocks, do not miss out. That is the easiest way to get started inside the stock market. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers, here we are inside my Moomoo account. Let's go ahead and screen the entire stock market and find the best dividend stocks near that 52 week low. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do, you wanna hit the search button at the top and then right there where it says screener, ETF, options, futures, Forex, uh, earnings hub, we're gonna click screener right there and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. Let's start a new strategy. All right, so as we scroll down, we're gonna look at the description right here. Underneath description is gonna say price. We're gonna, we're gonna click percent change from 52 week low. Like we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna type in 15%, anywhere from 0% to 15%, hit um, done. There it goes, it's gonna show 1,532 stocks. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll down a little bit and right here where it says market cap, we're gonna, um, on the market cap, we're gonna get rid of all the penny stocks. Usually we're looking for large cap companies um, usually large cap companies perform pretty well in good quality stocks, usually not all the time, but what we're gonna do right here is get rid of all the penny stocks and all the small cap stocks that's near that 52 week low. So we're gonna look at any company that's above $100 billion. So we're gonna click this one right here. There it goes, it's gonna show results of 23 stocks. So let's go ahead and look at the 23 and then I'm gonna show you guys the five that I really, really like. All right, so we just hit results, let's scroll down. We're gonna be taking a look at number one, Pepsi called PEP. Now Pepsi is a dividend king. That means they are inside the SP 500 and they've been increasing their dividend yield every single year for the last 50 years. I think Pepsi has been increasing theirs for the last 51, maybe 52 years. So they're an amazing company. They're not gonna cut their dividends anytime soon. If we scroll down right here, Pepsi called the time of the recording of this video is $172 and they have a dividend yield of 2.87%. And as you guys can see over the last couple of, uh, from last couple of months, Pepsi had an all time high of $191 and an all time low of $153 over the last 52 weeks and Pepsi is around 170. So right now, yes, Pepsi did continue to pull down inside the market. It looks like it's starting to recover. It's about 10% from its uh, 52 week low. So if we could come in get some shares at $172 or just, you know, take a better look at Pepsi and the direction of what it's gonna do in the future. And we could ride it all the way from $172 and hopefully over the next couple of years, it can reach a new all time high all the way back up to $191, getting us profit and growth. And as the company is growing, we're also receiving quarterly paying dividends from Pepsi. Absolutely love Pepsi. Let's take a look at the next one. The next one is gonna be Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson, of course, they're almost even with their 52 week um, entry. So Johnson & Johnson is around $155 right now. They have a 3% dividend yield. That's the 3% we was looking for. And they've been increasing their dividends for over 55, 56. They've been increasing their dividends for a very long time. So like I said, they are also dividend kings. Whenever I see a dividend king near their 52 week low, I wanna go in do some research and see how many shares I'm gonna pick up of them. So uh, yes, they're probably even with where they came in at over the last 52 weeks, around $157. Um, Johnson Johnson's at $155 right now. And they had a high over the last 52 weeks of $172 and a low of $142. Remember, we're not buying shares at the, at the high of $172. That would be dumb for us to buy a whole bunch of shares at $172. What we're gonna do uh, is somewhere in the middle. I'm comfortable picking up shares of Johnson & Johnson at $155, $150, $145. To pull back to those prices, I'm gonna take a closer look. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna buy up some shares, but Johnson & Johnson is the number two stock on this list. Let's take a look at the next one. The next one is gonna be Starbucks, ticket symbol SBUX. Now Starbucks is at $90. They have a 2.3% dividend yield. Starbucks, I believe, have a lot of cash on hands and I still see them building up Starbucks everywhere across the country in every neighborhood they're building one just down the street from my house. So Starbucks is gonna be all right in the near future, right? So over the last 52 weeks, as you guys can see, 
Um, Starbucks had a high of around $112, a low of $88. So we could be getting in very near their 52 week low. Uh, that 52 week low is $88.19. We're looking at it at um, $90.71. So we could go in even if um, Starbucks do pull back. Remember, so the risk and reward. So you want to risk very little. If we buy Starbucks at $90 and it pull back to $85, okay, we lost some money. But if we bought Starbucks at $112 and it pulled all the way back to $85, we lost a whole bunch of money. So we want to have the risk and reward to be better. So our reward of buying it at $90 and it could eventually recover all the way back up to $112, that reward is a lot greater than our risks of $90 to $85, right? So you always want your risk to outweigh your rewards. And Starbucks is another one on my list that I'm going to take a good look at. All right, so let's move on to number three. Number three is going to be Baba Alibaba BABA. -B -A. They're down to $72 over the last 52 weeks. They had a high of around $119, but that's not the whole picture. We want to look all the way back. And if we scroll back some more on Alibaba, they once had an all time high of around $300 ish dollars uh, back in 2020. Uh, so yeah, $315. And now they're all the way back down to $72 and they're near their 52 week low. I did, me personally, I did pick up some shares of Alibaba around $73. So um, I was comfortable, my risk outweigh my reward. Um, this is one that I did some research on. You guys have to do your own research on your own companies. I was comfortable buying Baba at $73. And if it does eventually just recover back to $150 or get a new all time high, I'm gonna make a lot of money from that because I buy low and then I sell high and then I have a dividend yield of 1.38%. And so let's take a look at our last one on the list is gonna be Nike. Nike is at $93.86. They have a dividend yield of 1.48%. And if we take a look at Nike, they had over the last couple of, over the last 52 weeks, they had a high of around $129, uh, $126. They had a big run up, almost breaking a new all time high. They pulled all the way back to $88. They had a big run up, earnings came out, they pulled all the way back. So I'm more comfortable at buying Nike at $93 than I am buying it at $126. I own some Nike shoes. Um, so I own Nike products, even though I got on some Adidas right now, I wish Adidas went public, but I got some Nike products. Um, so this, I am heavily investor on products that I actually use. So I do need to go in and buy some Nike stocks. And since they're at a very comfortable price of $93, hopefully it pulls back to 90. I will go in do some more research and pick up some shares of Nike and also get paid dividends from these companies. And there we go, guys. That's my top five stocks. Now, all five of those are companies that I actually use. I use Johnson & Johnson. I use PepsiCo. I drink Pepsi. I wear Nike. Starbucks, I drink it every now and then. So I'm, so I'm really big on investing into products that you actually use. Don't just be investing into things that you would never use or company that you know anything about. I actually use these products and I'm a heavy investor in them. So that's my top five dividend stocks near their 52 week low. Let me know down in the comment section, which one of those fives would be your favorite. Do you have any other dividend paying company that's near that 52 week low that you're continuing to dollar cost averaging while you can get it while it's on sale? Let me know which one that is down in the comment section. I can't wait to read you guys' comments. If you guys want to follow my plays, I'm going to leave a link to Patreon down in the comment section. Uh, the Patreon is going to take you to my Discord. Inside of my Discord, I post my option trades in there. I post my cover calls in there every single week. And I also have pro day traders in there that post their options every single day. So if you want to be a part of a community of, a community of traders that want to be financially free just like you, go ahead and check out that pin comment section down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Moo Moo. Don't forget to pick that up. That's down in the comment section. Don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Weeboo. That's down in the comment section. Remember, if you got multiple brokers, get that free money because they all have different promotions at different times. And I'm telling you, you want to get that free money. You don't want to be look outside looking in. So get that free money while you can. All of those links is going to be down in the pin. All of those links is going to be down in the description. But yeah, guys, other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.